Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Jamie, if you guys are new. If you are new, welcome to my tiny spot of the internet. Like I said, my name's Jamie. I'm a mom of four kids, ranging from two up to eight, and we are due, well I am due, with our fifth on October 5th, so a couple more months to go, and we will have five kids. We're a homeschooling family, and we basically exclusively use the Good and the Beautiful curriculum. So I am pretty versed in the Good and the Beautiful's elementary level curriculum. So I'm really excited to share with you guys today their math level two curriculum. Now my oldest daughter will be starting to use this curriculum in the next couple months. And then I also have a child that is using the math level K that's gonna be starting to use the math level one here shortly as well. So this is the math level two course overview that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. Uh, we are going to take a look through the books. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite things about their math, uh, as well as what this course is going to specifically highlight for your kids. This should be really helpful if you're trying to decide maybe which level to put your children in. I also do want to add, though, that if you go on the Good and the Beautiful's website, there are options for you when you go and you check out the different courses that they have to do level assessments for your children. So you can do an assessment, you can figure out um, where your child ranks and then as always with everything else um, you can use your best judgment as a parent and decide the best level for your kids. The Good and the Beautiful is partnering with me on today's video. I always feel so blessed to be able to work with them and be able to represent a company that I love so much. kindergarten and level one, you are going to get two different workbooks for math. You're going to see a course book one and a course book two. These are pretty good size. I would say these are similar to what you would get in level one and also kindergarten. The part one of the course book, you're going to see that there's 64 lessons and there's also an appendix at the end. In this specific book, you are going to focus on two different sections. The first being geometry and measurement and the second being regrouping. So all of the lessons are going to correlate under each of those sections. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about the Good and the Beautiful's math curriculum is that they use a lot of interesting stories and characters to really help engage your children. So as your children are going through the lessons, uh, they may hear a story um, about a character that they've heard a few lessons back or a story that's continuing through. And so it's really helping to keep them interested in what they're learning um, because it's not just about the numbers, it's actually trying to make math come to life and make it so that it's understandable for kids. I remember growing up and I went to public schools and I had a really hard time with math. It was my hardest subject by far. I still have a hard time with math. And I remember just that the numbers didn't make any sense to me. I remember learning learning different formulas and then trying to have word problems after that to make it make some sense to me and it just was so confusing and so when I go through and I do this math with my kids and I see See how it really does build each lesson builds upon the lesson before it and so it lays this really great foundation and your kids just gradually 
organically are learning. And so I really appreciate it, especially as someone um, who personally struggled with math as I was a kid growing up. So the second course book has 59 lessons in it, um, and it has section three and section four in it. This also has an appendix in it. It has assessments in it as well for you to use. Section three is gonna focus on numbers up to a thousand, and section four is gonna focus on fractions. So just like with the first course book, all of those lessons underneath each of the sections are gonna correlate, and when you start lesson 65, by the time you get to lesson 92, you've built a good foundation for learning um, how to utilize numbers up to 1,000. And it's always amazing when you see how fast and how easily kids pick up on things when they're learning something organically. So those are the two course books. As you go through the lessons, at the end of every lesson, you will see a bonus activity following the student work and this was the same thing as in math one and also uh, the kindergarten level math. Both of those also had bonus activities. My kids always look forward to that. Uh, I feel like it is a fun way of incorporating what you've learned in that lesson or maybe what you've learned in lessons prior and using your hands for it. A lot of them utilize tangram pieces, puzzles. Sometimes they have a specific game that you can actually just pull out of the book you set it down and it turns into a board game. There's lots of fun ways that the bonus activities are incorporated into the lessons. So my kids are always really excited about that. Speaking of tangram pieces and all of that, uh, something that is super important with the Math 2 and also Math 1 is this math activity box. So my daughter used this for level one and she will be using the same box for level two. And inside of this box, you will see a ton of amazing things that they can utilize, just different instruments that they use for their lessons, ways that they're learning math hands-on. Like I mentioned, there are tangram pieces in here. There is also just little manipulatives, like there's shell manipulatives, egg manipulatives, um, just different manipulatives depending on the specific lesson that they're doing. There might be a story about a character that lives by the ocean and so you're gonna use shell manipulatives in that specific lesson. And then as they go to work on their worksheet, a lot of the times they'll use the manipulatives again um, and just utilize those so they can really use their hands in learning and trying to figure out the answers to the questions comes with a measuring tape, <laughs> isn't that so cute? It says the good and the beautiful right there on the back, fancy schmancy. There's also a clock in here to help with learning how to tell time. There are board games. This was so fun for Fiona. These are different game instructions because there's games inside of this math kit. Man, when we got this in the mail and my daughter got to go look through it, she was so excited. I love just how they bring really fun and exciting things to life in these math kits. I would say that my favorite thing about their math curriculum is the math kits that you get. The level two also does come with a weekly planner just like the level one does. And this is really fun because it gives your kids the opportunity to look over an entire week to continue getting to know a calendar and planning things out. They can put birthdays, specific dates where you might be going on field trips or doing co-op, things like that in there. So this is really fun. My daughter really enjoyed using this during her level one. All right guys, so that is my course overview for Math 2 from The Good and the Beautiful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please share down below. I would love to answer any questions that you have. And I know that a lot of you guys are amazing homeschool moms that can offer some advice and help as well down in the comments. The Good and the Beautiful's website as well as a link to this specific curriculum will be down below as well. So you guys can go check out all of the rest of their curriculum as well as the Math 2 course. Thanks again, you guys, for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Makes it all worthwhile that this plays on. Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you.